Today on the Daily Deposit we are going to discuss Fed now and America's new digital currency and what that really means for the American dollar and American people moving forward. Oh wow, Fed now is just amazing, isn't it? I mean, who needs private companies like PayPal when we can have a payment service run by the Federal Reserve itself? It's not like the Fed has ever made any mistakes or caused any economic crises in the past, right? And the fact that they're going to be directly supervising the service just fills me with confidence. Who needs accountability or competition when we can have a government monopoly on instant payments? FedNow is a U.S. instant payment service under development by the Federal Reserve. It is designed to provide a fast, safe, and efficient way for individuals and businesses to conduct real-time financial transactions. Unlike other instant payment methods, FedNow is being developed and operated by the Federal Reserve rather than a private company, which means that it will be supervised directly by the institution and subject to the same regulations and supervision as other payment systems that are operated by it. Now let's talk about it, I can't wait to make real-time payments and transfer funds between banks in real time. Because who cares about things like waiting periods or security when we can have everything done right now? And the multi-channel access? What could possibly go wrong with having access to this service through online banking portals, mobile apps, and ATMs? It's not like anyone ever hacks those things, right? And the authentication and security features? Multi-factor authentication, encryption, and digital signature? I mean, who needs all that when we can just trust the government to keep our information safe? And payee validation and notification? I'd rather just send my money out into the ether and hope it ends up in the right place. And don't even get me started on the technical standards. ISO 20022? Wow, what a game changer. It's not like anyone's ever had any issues with ISO standards before, right? And the fact that it's used by Swift, Fedwire, Chips, and Target 2? That's definitely a good thing. I mean, why wouldn't we want our payment systems to all speak the same language? It's not like diversity and innovation are important or anything. Overall, I'm just thrilled that we'll be able to rely on the government to handle all of our financial transactions. I can't wait to see how this service will revolutionize the economy and make everything better. Because as we all know, the government always knows best. Cha-ching, there you have it your deposit has cleared. If you like these stories, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be the first to receive all our deposits as they become available.